Hello and welcome to NSKS Tech. So in this video we're going to be looking at two water coolers, this Captain 240 and this Captain 120 RGB by Deepcool. So let's take a look inside the box. So inside the box comes the radiator itself attached to the pump and they're connected using a braided cable and the pump itself has already got thermal paste applied on it and the radiator being at 240 millimeters as this is the 240 millimeter version so in the box come two fans both 120 millimeters as this is a 240 millimeter version and they come in braided cables for rgb and also to connect to your motherboard so um, in the box also comes a fan hub which you can connect all the fans to. This again is uh, comes with a braided cable and also comes with a zip tie. Also in the box is a fan controller. So this is for the colors and also for the speed of the fans and this connects to SATA through your power supply. Final cable is a cable that you can use to connect your RGB fans to your existing LED setup. And also you get tools for installation. So finally we've got the instruction manual which I thought provided clear instructions on how to install the water cooler in your PC. The unboxing experience of the 120mm is very similar um, but in this case it just comes with a 120mm radiator rather than a 240mm one and it also comes with one fan rather than two. Now let's take a quick look at how to mount the pump. So this is different for different uh, motherboards and I've got Intel so I'm using uh, this particular bracket yeah so you mount the bracket on first onto the motherboard and then you pop in a few screws at the front and also there's another bracket that's included that's different for AMD and Intel and then you put on your pump and voila it's done so now we're going to look at how to connect the RGB from your fan and the pump so this uses a controller cable which connects to the SATA on your power supply which you use normally to connect your hard drives and the other two cables go to your fans as this is the 120mm um, version so it comes with two but for the 240mm version there's three so this is how it looks like installed in the PC so this is the 240mm version and as you can see there are many different color modes that you can choose from using the controller that's included in the box. It's been working very well for me so far. The pump is really quiet as well as the fans and they work very well to keep the CPU cool and the colors when synced up look amazing. So this is the 120 millimeter version installed on a different PC and um, so originally I had the radiator seated on the right but now I've had to change it to the left because the pump wasn't seated correctly on the CPU but it works perfectly now. I also managed to sync up the RGB on the pump with the LEDs on my GameMax Vegas case using the other RGB cable that was provided in the box and honestly it looks amazing now. So now I'm going to do a bit of stress testing on the PC with the 120mm version. So I'm doing this using Prime95 and on the right are displayed are the CPU temperatures. So for each core the temperatures don't go above around 50 degrees, but for the package it doesn't go above 57. Now I'm going to try it with a bit of gaming, so play on those battlegrounds. And I'm going to look at the temperatures during and after. So now the temperatures and then back to gameplay. Uh, lost quite quickly on this one. And then we can look at the temperatures which don't go above 62 degrees. So I hope you enjoyed this video looking at the Captain 240 and Captain 120 by Deepcool. They perform really well and they're really quiet whilst maintaining good CPU temperatures while put under stress. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.